Let's write a web crawler in Python. We're going to go to a web page, pull out all the links, and then go to those web pages and pull out all the links from them and so on. And I'm going to be running it entirely on my computer here from um, a local copy of my website. Here's uh, JetBrains IntelliJ idea, and let's write some Python. We want to use the requests module to get the HTTP, uh, to make the HTTP requests. So we'll import requests. And then to use it, we use the get function, and we give it the URL where we're going to go, which is this one. And that gives us back a response. And we can get the text from the response and print it. And there's the web page there. To do more with it, we can use beautiful soup. And we can create a beautiful soup object from the text from the response. And then we can do things with that. For example, soup.find the title. And what happened? Oh, I forgot to tell it what parser to use here. Okay, there's the title. We could show just the text of the title like that. We could find the anchor tags, the first anchor tag. Here it is. We could find all the anchor tags. There they are. We could find all the anchor tags with an href attribute. And then we can do something with those. Let's just for the moment, let's make um, a tags equal that. And then just um, have a look in the debugger. So I'm just going to put another line of code here so I can have a breakpoint at the end. And now we can look at the A tags. So here are all the A tags. And I don't want to go to any of these ones that have a scheme, the HTTP here, because those go to another website. I'm just staying within the website. So I want to find a way to exclude all those with a scheme. And I can do that by parsing the, these URLs using URL parse. Why don't we do that now? Um, from the A tags, we can pull out all the links and we could do it with something like hrefs equal and then we'll make a list comprehension and we'll say um, A for A in A tags, but we don't really want A, we want A and then using the dictionary syntax href. That'll pull out the value of the href attribute for each of those anchor tags. And um, then let's rerun and see what we have in hrefs. Here's hrefs, and they are, in fact, the hrefs, the, the value of that attribute. We're going to want to skip that slash and hash one. And then there's some duplicates, too. So we're going to have to do something to combine these ones with with the slashes, with the ones without the slashes, because they really are the same place. Um, but for now, the next thing, let's just strip out the ones that have a scheme. Let's parse these now. We want to say, um, I suppose, parsed equals, and then we're going to call URL parse of href for href in hrefs and we'll have idea get that import for us okay and now we should have um, 
a bunch of parsed objects. Let's rerun under the debugger. Have a look. Parsed. There. Now they're all parsed. So you can see that it's split into the parts. And we only want the ones with an empty scheme. So how about if we do this? Um, I suppose... No, I think we'll have to add another line here. So we'll say maybe um, selected parsed. And then we want, let's say, P for P in parsed if not P dot scheme. So the P refers to one of these. And if not scheme, then it'll select it. An empty string in Python is false. Okay, rerun. Selected parsed. You can see they're fewer than the parsed. So we just have the ones with no scheme. Great. Okay, it's time now to start thinking about some kind of loop in a way where we can make a queue of the links that we find so that we can then come back and process them. So we are going to make a queue. So let me add a little import for that here. Okay. And we're going to create the queue. And then into the queue, we're going to put this starting URL. So that things can get started. Then we're going to have a loop here, while not queue empty. So this will keep running as long as there's something in the queue. So, since the queue now contains the URLs, we need to do get the current URL using queue.get. And I'm going to use type hints. So, this is a string. Okay, then we need to parse the current URL because, as I said, to resolve these relative references, we've got to know the, um, the net location, the domain and, uh, or IP address and the port of the current page. So we'll do this. Okay. Ultimately, we're going to end up with a um, something we're calling found paths with titles, which is a dictionary. Let's make that. And this is going to be a dictionary of string to string. So the the key of the dictionary is going to be the URL, and the value of the dictionary is going to be the title of it. And we're going to need to have this. Okay, so found paths with titles is a dictionary of string to string that we initialize to an empty dictionary. And so we have our URL, we parse our current URL, and then we want to see if we've already dealt with this one, because we want to avoid um, never-ending cycles. We don't want to process the same URL twice. So what we're going to say now is this. If the path of the current URL is not in the found paths with titles. 
We'll put a little message out here so we can see what we're doing when we run. And now we'll do the get request. And just to show that we're done fetching, and we should check the status code to see if it's 200, but I think we'll skip that for now. We also should probably check to see if the content type is text HTML and skip anything that's not, but let's see how it goes without doing that. All right, we've got the response. We're doing the beautiful soup number on it. And we're gonna need the title, so title. And now that we have um, fetched that page, we're going to save the URL and the title in our um, found paths with titles. And this is a dictionary, so we use this syntax. The key goes in here. And that's the parsed current URL path. And the value is the title. All right, so just looking at this again, we're pulling out all the hrefs from the a tags and we're parsing them. And then we're only keeping the ones that don't have a scheme. And now at this point, we are ready to we're ready to now build the, the fully qualified URL, which is a string, from the parsed current URLs scheme, joined with the colon slash slash, joined with the, oh, we need one more loop here. We're going, to, we're going to do this for every one of these um, selected parsed. Then we create the URL from the current pages scheme, colon slash slash, and then parse current URLs netloc, which is the domain name or IP address and the optional port. And then that joined with this P path here. Okay. Then we put that in the queue. Now what's this complaining about here? No new line and end of file. All right. So then we put that in the queue here. And I think we're done with a loop. And um, let's just see what we have at this point. Uh, I'm going to run it. There'll probably be some errors. We'll see what's up. Okay, so line 17, requests get, and that needs to be the current URL. Is that right? Okay, can, can only concatenate this, not a parse result to string. That's because this is a parse result, and this is supposed to be the path, I believe. Okay, well, look, we got a bunch of stuff back. And then we failed here on line 20, because whatever that thing was didn't have a title, and that's because it's a PDF. So I think we really do need to um, only get the ones that only process the HTTP responses with a content type of text HTML. So let's add that. Well, let's do first if the response status code is not the 200, which means everything worked, then we'll print a little error message here. Otherwise, everything's good. But we want to check and see if, if this is text HTML. And if it is, then we're going to do the rest of the stuff. 
So we don't process if we don't get a 200 status code. And we also skip if the content type is not text HTML. Let's run. Okay, I think we got a lot farther that time. I wonder, oh, we got some 404s. That's because um, there's some files on the real website that aren't here in my local environment. So I think we might be able to ignore those. But now let's go and see at the end what we have in our result dictionary, this found paths with titles. So I'll put a breakpoint here. And we'll take a look at that. Found paths with titles. All right. Good. So the, the root is, the title is that. And then that's a mistake, the slash slash. I think this is the doubling up um, because some had slashes and some didn't. But we are getting the URLs and the titles, which is what we were after. Oh, uh, you know, I wonder if it's because we're running on localhost. Let me switch over and run it on um, my real website and see if we get different results. Rerun. And this should run a little slower. I think I may have my, yeah, I'm connected to my web server here so we can watch these requests come in as we do them one at a time. Then we finished. And now found paths with titles. Um, okay, that wasn't the issue. But we're pretty close, so I think I may stop at this point. Okay, so to summarize, we have used requests and beautiful soup to fetch web pages, search them for links, and then use a queue to collect those URLs that we found, have a loop that processes everything in the queue, gets each one, parses it, skips it if it's already processed it, gets it, um, ignores or puts a message out if the status code is, is wrong, and then if it's a text text HTML file, then we um, use Beautiful Soup to look at the contents, we get the title out, we add our element to the dictionary with our results, and then we, uh, for that page, then we search for all the links in it, and we extract the hrefs from those, and we parse all those URLs in the hrefs, and then we filter those so that we only get the ones that are on the same website. And then for each of those, we build the fully qualified URL, and then we put that in the queue, and then loop back. And at the end, we could do something to display the results. Uh, okay, there we go. See you next time.